Hi, this is Adam from cultflix.net, and I'm about to read a review from Harriet Cronson. The movie is Kathy's Curse. The year? 1977. Director? Nobody. <laughs> Country? None. Context. I love the overstylized heavy 70s furniture, which is now coming back into the vogue via your local urban outfitters. Clear enough. <laughs> Review. A forced dialogue film featuring fantastic cars, terrifying mustaches, evil little girls, and nonsensical pan shots. If one of your hobbies is to enrage your friends with forced viewings of horrible movies, then this is a great start to your evening. I guess that's us, right? <laughs> Perhaps you like playing to do <laughs> Perhaps you like to play drinking games like Guzzle During the Theremin or Shots Everyone Times. 1970s misogyny is unveiled. Don't we all? The fruity medium scene is a great place to pause and showcase your favorite inanimate objects. It's time to dust off that embarrassing relic your roommate left behind and do some group storytelling. You should drink some more. <laughs> I think she was. Are you trash yet? No. <laughs> You'll want to be. Prepare for slow-motion, creepy doll and ghost scenes. What you need to get through this movie? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I read that incorrectly. You do need something to get through this movie. You need shots of Maker's Mark 7 in dolls. Wait, shots of Maker's Mark served in doll heads. <laughs> Most memorable quote. Your mother's a bitch. She'll pay for what she did to you. Some interesting trivia. None. Some educational content. When a family member dies, make sure to burn and salt any images of them. In fact, everything they once owned. I do that. The reason to watch, as if that's not enough. You have a ready available supply of booze, a score to settle, a vintage appreciation of 70s Canadian decor and fruity old ladies. I gave the movie a rating of 3.5, and my justification is watchable, but then I have a full bar available to me. Thank you, what was her name? Harriet. Harriet. Tubman. <laughs>